It is the 9th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'd like to begin with an apology. Uh, the last video I put out with the YU-55 uh, live tracking system turned out to be a flop. Uh, I put the video and I had to leave to work like 10 minutes after the show supposedly started, and they mentioned something about an hour program. Uh, but apparently that didn't happen, so I'm sorry if I wasted your time. Sometimes I do drop the ball, and I, I appreciate you keeping me up and up. So please continue um, to let me know what I've missed or if I've done something wrong. Uh, I'd like to document this, you know, as it happens. So let's get started tonight. 85 mile an hour gusts sideways snow test al tests Alaska's west coast. And they got a huge system rolling in. I mean a huge system, and they're calling it a very dangerous storm, but what they're not saying is uh, the Japanese are burning uh, the, the nuclear-contaminated uh, debris from the tsunami and uh, evacuation zones in their incinerators throughout the country, in just about every prefecture. Uh, and these stacks push that nuclear fallout way up into the atmosphere and this picks up into the weather systems of course so I would say that this storm is a lot more dangerous uh, than they're making it out to be so be advised if you're on the upper west coast of a major major winter storm heading your way uh, Oman is to be hit with a second slight cyclone within a week uh, last week you we were hit by a Kila which left 14 people dead and nearly two meters of water in some places uh, they are in line again to be hit. Uh, Cyclone 4, I believe is the name of it. And uh, the tornado videos are coming out from the tornadoes that, that went through Oklahoma um, yesterday. Um, some very good videos out there. I attached some of them to my video last night. Uh, if I find one or two, I will attach them to this one as well. Uh, but some really, really extreme videos. Uh, some really good tornadoes. And another Alaska story. Uh, eruption continues off the coast of El Hero. Uh, apparently the water gushers are coming up to be like 20 meters above the surface. Uh, they're seeing big pumice rocks, uh, which are the lighter than, you know, uh, due to volcanic activity. Uh, they're also stating that the, the top of the new volcano is about 70 meters from the surface of the water. And uh, they're already arguing over what they're going to call the new island. Uh, my point is, is it's a very steep island, and uh, this new volcano is building here. What's to stop it from sliding? So uh, that's something we definitely need to be aware of, and that or if the bigger volcano gears up and that island erupts as well. So uh, still a lot of concern in El Hero. And they're also talking about the economic um, impact that this has had on the island. It's pretty much devastated their economy, this eruption. 88 dead in Vietnam, flooding as high waters inundate central and southern regions. Death toll from Thailand floods rises past 500. And over to the extinction protocol. Now they've got a story starting off. Let me get up here. Uh, experts say the Oklahoma earthquakes are too powerful to be man-made. So basically, uh, it's a story going on how... Um, Scientists um, have explained that, that fracking may cause minor earthquakes, but nothing this massive, and that it has nothing to do with uh, the, the fracking process whatsoever. So uh, here comes the disclaimer uh, videos already, and the lawyers are, are at work. Uh, there's the Oman story. Oh, they've got another story about um, here gearing up for the war. War of words escalate between Iran and Israel. Iran threatens to widen the war in Europe if attacked. And uh, I believe them. So uh, here we go. And um, this is just my opinion um, that um, they're gearing this up to blame the Iranians for the fall of the economy. Because what would a major massive war uh, do to the economy that is the world right now in the condition we're in? And uh, that's all we need is another war, right? And another story, U.S. Admiral warns nuclear war on Indian subcontinent among world's greatest threats. So the, the Indian-Chinese uh, friction with all their military buildup on their borders uh, is a big cause of concern as well. And that 
that is about all that they have different and new. Over to Disaster Alert, uh, they have got some reports of, got the cat and the dog playing, um, tornado reported out of uh, Houston, Texas, and the death toll in the Columbian landslide rises to 44, and you remember they had a major landslide due to flooding, uh, torrential rains. A couple of nuclear events. Um, one was just asked to um, do a voluntary shutdown uh, procedure to test if everything's okay in case they have an earthquake. Uh, the other one out of Idaho, 17 workers were lightly contaminated with plutonium uh, due to an uh, accidental exposure. They were working in an old reactor room and blah, blah, blah. Um, they didn't find out about that until they went to decontamination, so who knows how long they're exposed for or whatever. And they really didn't give any updates on the condition of the, the employees. Uh, they're talking a heat wave in Europe. It's un, um, unusually going to be hot in um, England and Europe right now. Uh, flooding in the Hawaiian Islands. 5.3 uh, offshore of... Uh, Liberador, O'Higgins, Chile, and where's the other one? Over two million people still with with water shortage in southwest China's prevailing drought. Uh, they're saying over two million people are still having difficulty finding drinking water. So there's that. Um, In Tibet, they got a forest fire. Uh, and the Thai flood to cost at least 500 million US dollars to tourism industry, and that's a lot of money in Thailand. And finally, the nuclear stuff tonight uh, out of Fukushima. Uh, of course, they have the story 17 workers de decontaminated after exposure to plutonium inside old Idaho nuclear reactor. Details on health not immediately provided. No evidence of radioactive release outside the facility. And of course they say everything's under control and there's no threat to the population. They got a government report Kansas detected iodine-131 in their grass at over 2,000 PCI uh, per kilogram attributed to Fukushima that's about 700% higher than the highest levels reported by UC Berkeley. Now, apparently UC Berkeley's numbers are not up to par at all. And again, um, that just goes to prove that the powers that be are not letting us in on what's really going on. Um, and we definitely need to be concerned. Uh, another story, government Japanese on average exposed to 100 microsieverts per year of internal radiation from Su Fukushima via food alone and of course you can see the the reporter put out last night about the news reporter that got uh, lipnotic um, leukemia because he was eating the fresh produce from Fukushima trying to let everybody know that it was safe to eat I mean, obviously it's not uh, Japan time people fed up with the shroud of secrecy in Fukushima starting to smuggle journalists must rely on media for help and experts on Fukushima radiation in the United States we know it's going to impact public health, and they have a video attached to that. And uh, that is about all new I have tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know down below. And um, enjoy while you can. Thanks for your support, everybody.